Hi everyone, it's Dean. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today is August the 8th. Hey, I got a question for you. When it comes to believing God for something or someone, what's your choke point? Let's say you're somewhere between the ages, I don't know, 15, 18 years old. And let's say, for example, that you're really wanting your own car. Let's say that you're a believer. And so you've been talking with God about this. Well, it's a desire of your heart. So now what do you do? How do you move from desiring to believing to then receiving? This is a process known as faith. And each of us has a measure of it. It's what we do with our measure of faith. That's what counts. First, you, can you see yourself having your own car? Is it used or is it brand new? Is it the color you want? Does it have cloth seats or leather seats? Does it have debt or is it debt free? As you answer these questions and you do so honestly, your answers will reveal the choke point of your faith. What's that? The choke point of faith is where you or I stagger at the promise of God as it relates to something we either want or no longer want in our lives. It's the point where we are not fully convinced that God will do what he said he would do. Now listen, don't beat yourself up if you discover that maybe your faith isn't necessarily where it could be. Choose instead to start from where you are. Start right now. Get more into the Word. Declare what the Word says over your life and then get on the God side of the faith equation. As you do, you'll stop choking and instead be fully persuaded that what He's promised, He's well able to perform. Today's Word, Romans 4.21 and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. God bless you. See ya.